Welcome back, it's part 5 of the UX tutorial. Today we're going to go over um, rounding the rectangles of a... rounding the corners of a rectangle, sorry, um, which illustrates a uh, concept called 9 slice scaling and also retouches over the mask component. We'll go into some more advanced cases of 9 slicing and also masking towards the end, but we want to start off with this rounded rectangles for you. So rounded rectangles, masking in UI, um, 9 slice scaling. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by making an example for you. We're just going to spawn a regular rectangle and then round the corners of it. This should show you um, how to do that. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this uh, specifically is because you'll see in a lot of UIX cases throughout uh, NEOS, particularly such as the uh, MTC and various other UIX widgets you might see other people spawn, the uh, corners are always sort of rounded. It's sort of almost a convention to make those corners not sharp. Do feel free to make them sharp if it suits your uh, visual aesthetic, but uh, lots of people around them. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll be doing that, um, and if you follow along, you'll be able to get that set up. And then after that, I'll explain what's going on, how it works, and then we'll go into some more advanced cases with it. Let's get going. So I'm going to go ahead, turn to the left here, and head over into Smooth POV. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up my inventory and spawn some stuff that we'll need in. So I am in my public folder. Where's my camera? There it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my private UI so you can see where I am. There we go. So I'm in, first of all, I'm in uh, my public folder, UI stuff, UIX templates. We're going to need this canvas template here. Let's go ahead and look at that to get that in. We use this canvas template in many of the UIX tutorials, so go ahead and check a look at it. We're going to go up one level to UIX, and we're going to go to 9 slice and spawn in this rounded rectangle here. This is just a, a texture, and it's a rounded rectangle. We'll put that to one side. We won't need it for a little bit, um, but with those two items spawned in, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and round these rectangles. For this, you should only need a uh, developer tooltip, so I've equipped that. I pointed it at the uh, rectangle here, or the canvas. I'm going to hit Seconder in it to select it with the developer tooltip, and then Open Inspector on it to open the inspector. For this tutorial, and for other tutorials, what we're actually going to do is remove the uh, top layer image, and that's just so that we can have a little bit more control over what's going on. When you do that, you'll now notice that this square is uh, transparent. That's totally fine. We'll fix that in just a second. We're going to go to the top here. It says Canvas Template. Hit the star to create a child. We're going to rename this child to mask and then we're going to reattach a few components so let's attach component uix graphics image that makes it an image and we're going to attach uix graphics mask that'll make it disappear again check this show mask graphic option and you'll get the uh, white square back that's the top setup for a little bit. We will come back to it in just a moment, but now we need to set up some content that we want to round. So we're going to go ahead and create another chart object. So we can hit star on the mask underneath here. We'll name mask dash chart. We're going to name that one BG or background or image. Actually, they're the same image because this is going to be what you want to, to round. Usually it's the um, panel of the UX and you'll put everything under this mask and then it'll round everything. But in this case, we're just going to be doing a uh, initially a square of color and then um, some photos later. So with the image slot added, we're going to go to attach component, a UIX graphics image again. I'm going to make this whatever color you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and make it this sort of a dark red. There we go. I didn't want it to be too bright for you. Once this is added, you'll see that the corners are still sharp. So we're going to go back up to the mask slot here, and then we need to attach a sprite provider. So we're going to go to uh, assets, sprite provider. I covered this um, and the mask component to some extent in my previous tutorial where I talked about the uh, text scrolling. So I'll link that in the video description. All parts in this tutorial are linked in the video description. Do check the video description for some other links on how UIX um, works and also how nine slicing works. It's a generic concept you'll see in a lot of applications. So I'm going to go ahead, take this rounded rectangle, drop it into the texture slot for the sprite provider, and then we don't need that anymore. I'm going to go ahead and grab the sprite provider and drop it into image. When I do that, you'll now see that our dark red uh, square is now rounded at the edges, but it's rounded extremely. So we're going to make some changes to the sprite provider to make that rounding just a little bit um, softer. So I have a note to the right here, just for my benefits, because I keep forgetting it. Um, I forget it all, time, all the time. Uh, we need to set the border property to 0.25 in all options. So down here in the sprite provider, you'll see there's a border property. I'm going to go ahead and set that to 0.25. And then once I've set one, I can just drag it across here. And then we're also going to set the scale property down here to 0.2. You'll find these settings are quite common to most rounded rectangles that exist within UIX in the world. Like if you inspect anything rounded, you may indeed see this exact same sprite provider now that we've got it set up. Let me move the inspector out of the way and you'll see there we go. We've got a just subtly rounded corner here on that UIX uh, canvas. 
Now, you may think that this only works with squares, but that's not correct. If we go back to the canvas template and I change the um, X coordinate or the width of the canvas, let's go ahead and change it from 800. We'll go to 1280, 1280, and you'll see that we've now got um, a rectangle. Let's deselect all again, and you'll see that it's got those rounded rectangles again. Just a byproduct of rendering UX, you may see that the rounded rectangles will... Um, come back to sort of straight when you back away from them. That's just a rendering artifact, happens to most uh, UX rendering. If anyone knows how to make that stop, uh, do let me know, but I do notice it everywhere whenever I'm seeing um, these kind of rounded borders. So that's um, rounding those corners for you, and that is using the nine slicing. I want to briefly explain what's going on here, but first of all, I want to show you how well this works with other types of images. So I'm going to go back to this image slot, and you'll see here that it's just a, you know, um, dark red um, square right now. We're going to go to Attach Component Assets of Sprite Provider and I'm going to show you what else it works for. So with Sprite Provider added, I'm going to go ahead and spawn an image from my uh, inventory, private UI. So just pick any image. Um, I'm going to pick one of my favorite things in the whole world, which is cheese. So uh, let's go to, oh, whoops, wrong folder, public pictures. And then here's my bag of shredded cheese. So I'm going to go ahead, drop this into the Sprite Provider. With it in the Sprite Provider, I can grab the Sprite Provider, chuck it into the Sprite um, and then we'll go ahead and change this back to white. And I should have probably chosen an image that was a uh, 16.9. I can do that. We can just go ahead and uh, rotate that horizontally. There we go. So we got sideways cheese. That's still not as big. I'm going to go ahead and shrink down the canvas template just to illustrate my point here. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink the canvas template down to, let's say, 1,000. Then maybe a little bit less on the on the Y there. We'll go to let's say 500. Oh no, because it's going to shrink it there. We'll go back up to 700. All right, I'm not going to illustrate my point with that particular image, but uh, the point here is that anything drawn beneath this layer will have that rounding effect done to it because we're masking out everything else. So if I had an image that was actually appropriate, let me see if I've got one that uh, that will work with it. Uh, here's my offline image from my uh, from my Twitch channel. Uh, that should that should work quite well because it is 16.9. Chuck that one in here, and then uh, set that to one again. Weird, I always have trouble with this sort of thing. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that as well. And change that down to 800 again. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I know what's going on. I need to check preserve aspect needs to be turned off. There we go. That's what I was missing. There you go. Sometimes you'll see I learn on tutorials as well. It's just when I forget to, to check a particular checkbox. So here's what I was going on about. Actually, the canvas is the wrong way around. Um, you'll see here that the image is rounded. And if I go ahead and put that cheese icon back in, you'll see here, because we've got the preserve aspect off, which I must have accidentally checked. I don't think it's default. You'll see again that my image, my, uh, my bag of cheese here is rounded on the corners. So that is uh, UIX 9 slicing as a very basic element. I want to show you how that actually works. I'm going to show you with uh, both a uh, pen inside the game here, and then I'll show you an image I've got to the right here that actually came from the Wikipedia article for this uh, particular concept. So what happens with a uh, UIX 9 slice is it takes this 9 slice profile, as it's called, in this case this rounded rectangle image, and it splits it into nine segments. And I'll show you what those are with this pen. So what it does is it takes a line here, and it cuts the image into three segments, and then it cuts it into... The same three segments but horizontally and then what you end up with is nine segments so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then it takes those nine segments and it stretches them out over the entire um width and height of the image such that the top left part of the image uses segment one the middle of the image uses is a stretched version of two and that's the middle top sorry the middle top edge the um top right corner uses segment three the middle and anything basically that's not on the edge uses five and then the bottom corners here use seven and nine the bottom middle edge uses eight the bottom, and the left and right edges use four and six to illustrate that a lot better, I've got this image here. Uh, this image did look a lot better in the browser, and that's just simply because it had alpha, and I uh, had to invert that to make it a black background, but that's fine. Um, so here you'll see that we've got the um, 
exact same setup going. We've got a nice slicing profile of a rounded rectangle. In this case, it's just got like a blue gradient on it. And you'll see again, it's split into those nine segments here. And then we've got a stretched version of that image using nine slice scaling. And you'll see here that, you know, the um, the corners here are kind of a little bit warped. And that's because it's using that, uh, that one segment, but stretching it out. That two segment is quite normal because it's just stretching the middle of the image. Five looks completely normal. That's because it's just taking the middle of this image and stretching it in both ways. That can lead to some interesting effects. To illustrate that, I'm going to go ahead and drop in some other um, um, nine slicing profiles into the uh, nine slicing slot there. We'll go back to that one because I think that showed it a little bit better. So we're going to go back up to the mask here and we're going to go to a, another folder. We're going to go to uh, Neos Essentials. Once we're in Neos Essentials, go to Textures and Sprites. Once we're in Textures and Sprites, go to UIX 9 Slice Profiles. And then you'll see a bunch of stuff in here. I'm not quite sure who created these and dropped them into Neos Essentials. It must be a member of the team as it's in Neos Essentials, but thank you for doing that. There's uh, quite a lot of uh, useful stuff in here. There is another version of the rounded square. It was slightly different than mine, so I had a, a take that I lost because it was slightly different. So that's why I was using mine, but there is one in here if you want to use that one too. But there's also some weirder ones. So here you'll see there's an octagon. So I'm going to spawn in the octagon here. And we'll replace that in the nine slice profile. And then if we go ahead and we uh, we adjust things out a little bit. So here I'm dragging the scale of our sprite provider on the mask layer. You'll see I'm now masking my, my Twitch offline image out to be more like an octagon. So I can kind of adjust this here and I can make this really... Um, really perplexing actually You're like oh what's going on here and it can get more um crazy than that you can see here there's some profiles like uh let's go ahead and take a look at this uh this neos logo one we can put that in and again here we're getting some sort of really weird effects that almost look like a flower you can do all sorts of things with this i just want to try one more just for my own personal curiosity i was curious what these uh circles here would do So here you can see the warping happening where the, the edges of the image are applying and not the middle of the image. We also see that we're masking stuff out here and this work, masking works with basically anything. So if I were to go ahead and underneath the image here, I'd add some text. So attach component UIX graphics text. And then we type something in. So let's go ahead and type in hello. And then we'll make it it's a little bit easier to see. We'll make it white here. You'll see that the uh, H of the hello is being masked off and also a little bit of the LLO here. So we might want to sort of nudge that in a little bit so we can change the anchor um, anchor min to just be 0.1 and that should bump it in a little bit. But then you'll see that we're bumping up on this part of the thing. So we might want to go ahead and move that in. I mean, the easiest thing to do here to make it really appear would be to change the horizontal align to be center and the vertical line to be middle. And then hello's right bang in the middle there where the I'm offline text is. So there you go, that's masking and that's using UX um, nine slicing to do that masking. There are some advanced options which I didn't cover. Um, for example, take a look at uh, on the mask, you can take a look at uh, the property called nine slice sizing. It's set to texture size right now, but you can also set it to rect width and rect height. That'll make it scale depending on you know how big the rect is or how, uh, how wide the rect is. Um, do keep an eye on that preserve aspect ratio checkbox, um, especially for those images that caused me to lose about 30 seconds in this tutorial. So I hope you're uh, Thankful for that, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.